Please introduce yourself and tell us in one line who you play and what your character fits in the story. Hi, I'm Dave Desmolchen. I play Kurt. And Kurt is a uh, former inmate at San Quentin, and he's a uh, a uh, friend and roommate of Scott Langs. Uh, my name is Tip Harris. I play Dave. Uh, he's a former inmate, I believe, at, was it uh, Lompoc or somewhere like that? Another prison of some of sorts. And uh, I play the, the wheel man, getaway driver, and the, you know, I guess the route technician on the heist for Ant-Man. Hi, my name is Miguel Antonio Vega de la Peña, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I am, I actually, I'm the one who introduces Paul to his mentor, who later becomes Ant-Man, and I'm his best friend, cellmate, uh, you know, we struggle a lot, life is hard, <laughs> but it's okay now. It's okay, Michael. <laughs> Your okay. character has some very funny moments. Was the character written like that, or did it evolve as the filming went along? Uh, initially, it wasn't written like that. It was, uh, you know, Edgar Wright. The first one, the, uh, the first script that I read was with Edgar Wright, and it was, uh, you know, he was part of it, but um, it was always going to evolve. And then, uh, you know, I got attached pretty early, um, and, uh, you know, I was just talking to Paul, and, like, on the day, we would, like, rewrite stuff. And um, I, I'm basically imitating somebody from Chicago, so I know the the way the guy talks and what I think is funny when he you know when he says these things, so like I would just you know rewrite little things in there and then uh, improv like I you know I saw the movie yesterday, and I don't remember saying half the stuff, which is <laughs> you, which usually is the improv. Ti, the van you guys use to pull jobs is almost like a character in that it changes over the course of the film. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, we started with a very, very, uh, a, a very humble, modest van, you know, and as as uh, the heist or the, the occasion calls for it, we have to add different utility-driven things, and I think by the end of the movie, it turns into a full-blown hero Ant-Man mobile. <laughs> <laughs> David? How did the three of you play off each other's energy, and were there moments when it was hard to keep a straight face? Uh, one of the best things about the scene work for me was getting to play off of my scene partner's energies. Paul, you know, kind of sets the tone, and then these guys are, um, they, they're, they're everything. I mean, every line that I had is, is in response to them. And so the answer to the second part of your question was, I don't know how I kept a straight face. Every day I would show up for work and I just kept being afraid I was going to ruin these great takes. These guys would do this stuff that was so ridiculous and funny. <laughs> and I would hold like under the table at the kitchen just because my character is pretty over it all. You know, Kurt is like, <laughs> life is whatever it is. This is life. It stinks. You know, these guys are idiots. So I'm trying to be that guy while inside I'm like, hey, stop. It was... It was a challenge, to say the least. Okay. <laughs> Michael, what was it like working with Paul Rudd? It was great. I'm like, it was the first time, you know, that I got to work with the guy. And, um, you know, there's sometimes when you get on set and, you know, the, there's, a, there's a person who's, like, starring in a movie that presses that forward. And, uh, it, you know, it doesn't lead to much room for growth. Here, he was, like, he was so collaborative and immediately, especially, you know, with all of us, he wanted to make this count, you know, so he was like, you know, we were constantly trying to, you know, see how we could all say something or be in the, you know, and be like a, a group. And, uh, you know, the, you know, it was definitely the, the what did you say, the entourage? The entourage. Entourage was a definitely like a collective effort. T.A., what was your favorite part about making a Marvel superhero film? Uh... My favorite part about it, I believe, was the spontaneity of all the scenes. I mean, to, to, to have to actually go into a scene with no preparation, not knowing any lines, any premise of any of it, until oh, yeah. you get on scene and like, okay, here, here's what we're doing today. You know, just that, 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 that whole, just the spontaneity, I think, you know, just not knowing what you're doing from day to day. David, how did director Peyton Reed rein all of you guys in, and what is his directing style? Um, Peyton Reed is, uh, is a dream to work with, especially on a film like this, because he loves and knows the, the comic books encyclopedic knowledge he has. Um, and we bonded over that, and he would 
know what each scene was about so he knew like what had to happen and he was really open i was so amazed and surprised um considering the the breadth and the size of this film the way we get into a scene and he knew that like okay this information has to be conveyed you guys do that let's do the lines that are on the page and then he would open it up and he was really encouraging he'd run in he's like a kid i love it you know he's got that excitement about filmmaking that you just you love in great directors and he'd run back in after a take and he'd he'd go to each of us be like oh that was great that was great you know let's try this let's try that um so it, it created a, he, he's a really positive leader, and I think that's such a great quality in a director, you know, made for a really fun experience. This is for each one of you. So can each one of you tell us what, in, in what word would you use to describe this film and why? Um, I would describe this film as heartfelt, and that's because it's a film that uh, past all the excitement, the adventure, the sci-fi elements of it, it's a movie about family and about um people finding their true like inner heroes uh heroes redemptions one word do you want one word? yeah i was just yeah i figured i'd be Sir. used to <laughs> since he used like 200 <laughs> i figured i used to <laughs> satisfying <laughs> which is surprising and satisfying that's a, god that's such a satisfying movie it's satisfying that's certified. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs>